there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I'm back again with another Random Monday video. And today we're going to be talking about drinking. <laughs> so, the consumption of alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah, there is going to be a few different topics that I'm going to try and cover, go over, and obviously these are all my personal opinions, so don't take anything as solid, you know? <laughs> um, so I'm going to start off by talking about kind of my own experiences with drinking and yeah, you know, just going into that, um, delving into that territory. So I've like, knowingly, I've drunk for freaking ages. <laughs> Um, which is obviously not the best thing to be, like, something to be proud of or anything like that, but it is what it is. Um, I think my first ever drink was when I was, this is going to make me and my family sound absolutely terrible, but it was about when I was about six years old and we were in Spain and this, like, this story gets brought up all the time. So we were in Spain or somewhere like that and we went to like a pub and because like my family I love, they all love football. So we were like all watching the football and it was so so hot and I had a coke there and I kind of finished mine really quickly so I was like oh I need like, I need more, <laughs> I'm like really hot. Um, and so I asked my mum if I could have some of hers, not knowing that hers was actually a vodka and coke. <laughs> so there goes me and goes, whoops, straight back. And yeah, so that was my first experience drinking <laughs> as a six year old. Um, and then from then on, I think my family were just like, well, you know, we're not gonna stop you from drinking or, you know, we're not gonna encourage you, but we're also not gonna hide the fact of drinking away from you because in a way it was kind of a prevention method to not make it a bad seem like a bad thing just to make it seem like something that people do yeah people drink you don't need to hide it you just have to be careful with it so from then on i was kind of allowed to well not from then on obviously but from a later age i think when I started high school, that was when I was actually, you know, introduced to more drink. Um, so I'd have stuff like WKD or Smirnoff Ice, the generic starter drinks of most youth. <laughs> so underage drinking is like, meh, it happens, but you know, be safe with it. And often when I was drinking at a younger age, I'd actually be, in like the presence of someone's house so it's a bit more secure because now I, s I tend to see a lot of youth uh, kind of on streets literally just drinking on the streets I'm like come on guys keep it classy actually go to a house like I was walking past a couple the other day walking Frankie and they were just literally getting off in someone else's bush with two drinks on the floor. I'm like, my dog could have pissed in your drink and you would not have known. Get a grip. <laughs> um, but obviously that didn't happen. But I really, it, it triggered me a little bit because I was like, guys, come on. Like, first of all, the people whose house you are right outside must be so freaking angry with you like just go off you know you must have a house to go home to so go to it and if you don't have a house to go to then why on earth are you outside of someone else's house annoying them drinking and you know doing all this stuff and it's just like oh it's disgusting um but other than that drinking is great <laughs> Um, but like, I think drinking is just something that everyone does at some point in life. There are obviously some people that don't drink and things like that because they've had bad experiences and that's 
totally fine. Like, you don't have to drink to be socially accepted or things like that, you know. You just... People drink because they want to have that little bit of happiness and a little bit of fun, let loose. Like, that's when I tend to drink is because I go out to a club or somewhere with friends and I'm just like, I want to have a night out and just enjoy myself. And drinking, though you don't need it to have a good time, it just, it's fun and it tastes nice sometimes. <laughs> um, that being said, some alcohol tastes absolutely foul. Like I was in a club the other, like recently, it was end of last year and these guys got me and my friends vodka shots. We'd just walked into the club and we were just like, <laughs> it was absolutely disgusting, but it was like, okay, sure, <laughs> fine. Um, but yeah, so shots, they're great. They're great fun. <laughs> I can't lie. I had like a slippery, we all had like slippery nipples at my dad's birthday party, which was like a month ago now, which is ridiculous. And yeah, so I'm not against shots, although some of them taste absolutely foul. Jaeger bombs are bomb. <laughs> I actually get on really well with a Jaeger bomb, but straight spirits often are really foul. I love vodka. I drink vodka and coke a lot, but mm-mm, vodka on its own. Oh, that's a bad choice. <laughs> it is foul. I've done it before, like just sat there with a bottle of vodka and I'm just like, nope, nope, nope. That's straight up fucking disinfectant or something. It's just, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just really gross. But anyway guys, this is obviously going to be quite a short video just because, you know. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that and I will see each and every one of you in the next video. So, peace out bitches. <laughs>